all done. Now, to put everything back. As well, go for broke. <laughs> but from now on, no more witchcraft. <laughs> One mistake after another. Oh, dear Aunt Clara. Oh, oh, well, we all make mistakes. Uh, my mistake? Oh, no, dear. No, no. No, I'm finished. Huh? I'm going to give it up and change myself into something, uh, something useful, like a, a footstool. No, listen to me. Aunt uh, Clara, you get that thought right out of your head. I've just come from a meeting with Andorra, Hagatha, and Enchantra, and they've been a whole hour trying to put it into my head. Oh, no. Yes. And your mo and your mother. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. Well. She said, I'm an old cow, and I should be put out to pasture. <laughs> well. Oh, well. Well, they were right. Hagatha said, it's time I hung up the gloves. <laughs> or did she say broom? about that prospectus for the Morton Milk account. You want to know why? Ow. Because while you've been slow-poking your way along, showing Morton what we can do on paper, the Whittle Agency's been doing something creative. That's why. Creative like what? They're going to put Ginger, Morton's world-famous Guernsey cow, on display in the lobby of this building next week, all week, which happens to be National Milk Week. So the people will gape through the window and then run, not walk, to the neighborhood market and buy a quart of Morton's milk. How about that? Well, that's pretty creative. It was creative <laughs> enough for C.L. Morton. Uh, Larry, I thought it was agreed. Ideas were... You better get with it, on... fella. If you think you can get ahead in this business riding on nothing but hard work and talent, you're crazy. <laughs> I just stopped by for a visit. That kind of news I don't need. Yeah, I'm worried about her. She's terribly depressed. 
She's talking about giving up. Retirement. Well, that's the kind of news I do need. Sarah, this is serious. She's been talking about changing herself into something. Permanently, something useful. That's Sam. Darren, I thought if I brought her into town and we took her someplace special for lunch, it might lift her spirits. If you'll excuse the expression. <laughs> oh, it would mean so much to her. You taking us both to lunch? Well, uh, uh, okay, honey. Oh, uh, while you're at it, would you mind stopping at the jewelers and picking up my watch? I meant to this morning, but I forgot. Oh, sure. Oh, and Louise has got a babysit. Hmm. Oh, well, 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 what if Tabitha suddenly decides to, uh, you know... Uh, no, no, don't <laughs> worry. No, I'll put Tabitha down for a nap before I leave. Okay, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Bye, sweetheart. Clara, guess what? You and I... Hi, Clara? <laughs> Aunt Clara, is that you? I can't even make it as a pot of plant. <laughs> oh, why not? Don't you see I'm wilting? <laughs> there must be something I could uh, change myself into where I wouldn't make mistakes. Aunt Clara, the only thing I want you to change is your hat. And we're going to do that by buying you the prettiest one we can find. Oh. Oh, I must say, Aunt Clara, you do look lovelier in daisies than you did in philodendron leaves. <laughs> and you're much better company here than you would have been if you'd gone out to pasture. Oh, well, thank you, dear. And thank you so much for the hat. Oh. It was time till I got a new one. <laughs> time? Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot Darren's watch. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, uh, it'll take me at least 15 minutes to walk to the jewelers and back. Mm -hmm. But it would only take me a second to pop over and back. Promise you won't tell. Me tell? Oh, certainly not. <laughs> tell, tell what? Uh, Clara, you wait right here. I'll be... I'll be back in a flash. In a flash. Huh. Probably easier to get than a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. doing pretty well. Not wilting. Now, uh, you, you know, when I was a plant, the trouble, my, tr uh, my, uh, my, my, uh, my, <laughs> do you mind? This is private. <laughs> He's the advertising man. He's right in the building here. He'll come down and he'll explain to you that he's the one that got me the clearance to bring Ginger in here. I'll tell you what, I'll even use my own dime. Come on. Hey, lady. If 
you get tired of yakking to the plant, there's a cow around the corner with nobody to talk to. <laughs> would be like going to heaven. You are what I call a class A number one. Oh, I'm gorgeous, please. Uh, would you mind going up to heaven without me? I'm very busy looking for someone. <laughs> I'll take your pick. There's some buttes in the lobby today. Talk about fruitcakes. Fruitcakes? <laughs> I don't care how long I live. I ain't never gonna get so sophisticated that an old dame talking to a plant one minute and a cow walking around the lobby the next ain't a novelty. A cow? A cow. A cow. Uh, wh where? Where? Around the corner. Uh, oh. Well, how about it? You want to take a ride with me? Fly to heaven? Next trip. <laughs> What happened to my teacher? You made me lose my cow. Uh, just because I told you not to talk before doesn't mean that... Samantha, is that you? Oh, uh, hi, uh, hi, Louise. I'll, I'll be right up. Oh, no, 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 I'll be right down. Tabitha, please. What? Clara, uh, dear, you go into the kitchen. Uh, I'll try and get rid of her. Aunt Clara, I said in the kitchen. Just because you chose to be a cow doesn't mean you have to be a stupid one. I'm stubborn. Oh. <laughs> Thank you enough for staying with Tabitha. And if I can ever return the favor, don't hesitate to call me. I'm sorry you have to rush off. Yeah, but I don't. Oh, that's right, you don't. <laughs> well, then why am I leaving? Because I'm in such a hurry. Oh! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Louise. Whoa. You can say that again. <laughs> is no solution to anything. Now, now, please. Come on, change yourself back. <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten how. <laughs> Hello? Samantha? 
I thought you were coming in for lunch. What happened? I've been worried. Uh, yeah, well, hi, sweetheart. I, I was going to call you, but uh, uh, something came up. Uh, well, well, that is, uh, something happened. Aunt Clara's sort of uh, indisposed. Sort of indisposed? What does that mean? Oh, nothing serious. She'll be all right. You better be. <laughs> dinner, okay? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, go goodbye. Sort of indisposed? <laughs> now, Aunt Clara, you know I can't change you back. You just have to do that yourself. Why not try to relax a little? Rest a little first. How about a nice glass of warm milk? Warm milk? What am I saying? <laughs> yes, Samantha, what are you saying? Oh, uh, Louise, di didn't you leave a couple of minutes ago? You gave me the wrong jacket. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Louise. I must have been thinking about the cow. I'm not quite used to it yet, having what I mean. Oh, but, as I am, I I'll call you. All right? All right. <laughs> oh, Clara. I'm going to call Larry. <laughs> Aunt Clara, why couldn't you have been a chihuahua? agency may lose the Morton milk account and we may get another whack at it? Well, I suppose so. Uh... Because Whittle has gone and lost C.L. Morton's cow. That's why. <laughs> Master, how can anyone lose a cow? I don't know. But losing Ginger, Morton's world-famous prize-winning Guernsey cow worth at least $12,000, you gotta admit, that's pretty creative. <laughs> Larry, I would like to shake hands with a man who really knows how to gloat. Will's champ. <laughs> They're down in the lobby. Whittle's about to have a nervous breakdown, and C.L. Morton wants to put the entire city under arrest for cow napping. Let's go. Oh. You're through delivering cows, mister. I hope you know that. On account of you and your lousy authority, I got a missing cow on my hands. Uh. If you were on your hands, she wouldn't be missing. Well, you're gonna give me logic, right? Policeman's logic? You got something against policemen? Yeah, I'm missing power on my hands. That's what I got against policemen. Don't worry, Mr. Morton. I'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> I've goofed again. Oh, oh, stay right here. I'm gonna call home and check this out with Sam. Stay right here. <laughs> that every endeavor is being made to find your cow, Ginger. And I give you my word that, uh, What are you doing here, Tate? Well, I thought I might be of some assistance. Is something wrong? Something wrong? Why, this numbskull whittle. Mr. Tate, your secretary says to get on the horn to your wife right away. Very important. Later. I think I'd better have a visit with Mr. Tate here. Mr. Morton, if you'd only have a little patience. Your secretary said your wife said to call her now, not later. If I was you, pal. Now look here, young man. <laughs> okay, okay. I wouldn't take on both of them. A wife? And the secretary? <laughs> all right, all right, I get the message. Excuse me for a minute, Mr. Morton. Now, there goes a good man. <laughs> Sam, what I'm trying to say is, I think you misplaced Aunt Clara. <laughs> here in the lobby of the building. Oh, Darren, don't be ridiculous. She's standing right next to me eating her oats. Sam, amazing how they pick their times. <laughs> oh, wow. Girl, 
Oh, well, it's really oatmeal. But I didn't know what else to give her. After all, she missed having her lunch. <laughs> Darren, I told you Aunt Clara was upset. She turned herself into a cow. She turned herself into a what? Cow. I think you made a little mistake. A mistake? Sam's got a what in their flag? <laughs> a cow. What kind of a cow? <laughs> Sam, honey, um, Aunt Clara is here in the lobby. Aunt Clara's there? Are you sure? Is she all right? She's fine. <laughs> well, uh... If, if, if she's there, then who, who have I got here? And, and what was she doing in your lobby? What difference does it make? I mean, who cares, really? The point is, since you're practically next door, why don't you just pop over and fix things? If you know what I mean. <laughs> See you in a minute, Lair. I'll have to get Mother to babysit. Terrific. You even agree to that? Uh -huh. God, it must be worse than I thought. That's right. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the lobby, honey. Things are uh, sort of crowded in spots, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, all right. Bye. Uh, something on your mind, Lair? Yeah. Are you out of yours? I said get the account, not steal the cow. Steal what account? Ginger. Ginger? Do you or do you not... Have a cow in your living room. Yeah, I don't know what you're Aaron, I was just talking to Louise, and she said she saw a cow standing in your living room. Larry, life. you don't think... You don't think that our cow is the Morton cow? Your cow? <laughs> oh, Darren, don't be ridiculous. How could you possibly think it was the same cow? Well, after all, I mean... Uh... In the first place, our cow's name is Trixie. <laughs> Trixie? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, hadn't we better get over there and see what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want with a cow? Actually, I don't want one at all. It's all Sam's idea. See, she's on a big economy kick like a lot of the housewives are. Baking her own bread and uh, growing their own vegetables. Well, Sam, she wants to grow her own milk and butter and uh, cheese, cream, the whole bit. <laughs> well, why didn't she tell Louise? You should probably be afraid she'd steal the idea. <laughs> steal the idea? You better get over there. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure. Let's get over there. <laughs> well, you've had enough, whoever you are. You're gonna have to go back a different way than you came if that lobby's as crowded as Darren says it is. Oh, what would be the best way? Oh. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, well, aren't you cute? <laughs> okay, you'll be back to normal in a minute. Anybody blame the fuzz. If he don't bug me, I don't lose it. Look, <laughs> nobody's got any right dumping a cow on my beat anyhow. Shit. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and boy, is it ever in the eyes of this beholder. <laughs> Carry it away. How nice. Five, please. Honey. Going up with you is like going to heaven. I bet you say that to all your female passengers. All the time. Uh-uh. Only the Class A number one lookers, like you. <laughs> all day long. Fat dames, skinny dames, tall dames, short dames, old dames. Only one in a hundred is dull like you. <laughs> I guess I'm giving the eye uh, to the right percentage, though, huh? You're gonna get a fat lifter. 
That's what you're gonna get. Yeah, you know how many years you can get for hitting a civilian, huh? Mr. Morton, I am convinced that there is dirty work afoot. There has to be with that man hanging around here like a vulture. Are you pointing your stubby little finger at me, Whittle? Larry, take it easy. <laughs> All this fuss about a cow? Oh, where is it? Coming down. Coming down? <laughs> I think someone should know it's a very stupid cow. <laughs> My little girl. Oh, isn't that sweet? You see, everything turns out for the best. Yeah, when you're around to give everything a big assist, it does. <laughs> you know your papa, don't you? Yes, you do. Well. <laughs> Well, as I said, uh, goof, 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 goof. And spoil everything for everybody. Oh, I wish I were a doorknob. That's <laughs> how you've got to stop blaming yourself. Yeah, what's the man to take a couple of bucks? <laughs> I'll get the door. Hello? Yes? Oh, Larry. What? We got the Morton account. Oh, that's great. We've cinched the deal. Oh. Oh, really? When you told Mr. Morton that Sam and I were such cow fanciers? <laughs> well, what'd you tell him a thing like that for? What difference does it make as long as it cinched the deal? <laughs> very much. Mr. Morton is sending us a little something? Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, okay, Larry. Yeah, uh, goodbye. We got the Morton account. Uh -huh. On account of we're such cow fanciers. And Mr. Morton is sending us a little something. Oh, but he is that good. Mm-hmm. Well, well, what is he sending it? He already has. That was the delivery man. He's bringing Mr. Morton's little something around back. Mm-hmm. You see, Aunt Clara, all of your mistakes turn out to be wonderful mistakes. Oh, oh really, Samantha? Including the cows. What cows? The ones from Mr. Morton. <laughs> How? Uh, Clara, we love cows, don't we? Yes. yes. <laughs> you, you, uh... <laughs> well, it takes all kinds, you know. <laughs> 